Welcome back to the channel, guys, where today you join us with Sam from Golf Repairs for You. Yeah, we're at the Evolution Golf Academy at Ormond Fields Golf Club, so I like my second studio, really. And what we're going to be demonstrating today, this is a video I've been looking forward to sharing, is how much swing weight can affect, you know, starting direction and ball flight. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a huge, you know, impact on your club. Like I said, there's, there's so much you can, you know, change from, you know, just changing the swing weight. You know, we've seen it in fitting videos that we've both done, you know, so far. Like, there's, yeah, so much you can do where well, it's path, face, angle, anything like that. I mean, I've worked within golf 20 years. I played golf a long time, Sam, and when I come to obviously film Dan's fitting, you know, a few weeks ago, which you might have already seen, is that was the first time I'd seen how much difference that swing weight can make to, you know, opening and, and closing the club face. Yeah, definitely. And I thought for you guys at home, this would be a great video to blind test a driver in different swing weights. So maybe yeah. if we did a the lightest swing weight you could order the driver in, the heaviest swing weight, and then the maybe, I don't know, would you say middle? Like, so we're going to be, I think, exaggerating it a bit more to show you what you, you, what you could do. Because the thing is, we're going to be using a PXG head, uh, but like I said, these weights can be brought online. So someone yeah. had a PXG driver, you know, someone not really knowing what to look for could just buy the heavy weights. Yeah. And like I said, we're going to be showing that, you know, what weights go in can make a huge impact. I, um, think, I think this is pr probably going to be really interesting for the, the guys who are buying the second-hand market. Yeah, yeah, definitely. To, you know, when you're buying a second-hand driver or any driver, if it's not fitted, you don't actually, not many people, people buy these drivers and never even change the weights, do they? Yeah, that's the thing. If, if you're looking, say on eBay, you're only going to see the picture of a head. You're not going to see what the exact weights are. No. So you could get it and it could be really heavy or really light. And like I said, it's just knowing what to look for, really. So we're going to be doing a test where we're going to be doing two and a half gram in each weight, seven yeah. and a half gram, 12 and a half gram, and 17 and a half gram. So there's a big, big weight distribution from, like, say, lightest to heaviest. I've just got a question before we go any further. If the guys were to sort of get the keys out and take the weights out of the head to have a look at what they actually weigh, yeah. what is a kind of stock weight? So with PXC, what we normally do is like a standard off-the-shelf kind of head. We have two seven and a half gram and one two and a half. The reason we do that is so you can change your weights to then affect your ball fly because yeah. one's lighter. Um, but like I said, you know, we do two and a half gram increments from two and a half gram up to 20. Yeah. Um, but like I said, for this purpose, we're going to keep even increments of five grams added in each weight. So basically every setup will be 15 grams heavier. Right. Um, but we're going to do blind test. So I'm not going to tell you what we're going to be doing. Yeah. Uh, I've already got the first lot in there good to go. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to record what the swing weight is without you seeing. Uh, record the head weight and then like I said we'll then check the data and see yeah. what's changed and then like I said just give your feedback when you're hitting it what you think it is this is going to be a great test and I'm hoping that it demonstrates you know well it, it's got to do hasn't it yeah it should demonstrate you know what changes when you change the swing weight like I said you know if anyone saw like the fake ping video yeah you know a really heavy swing weight which to be honest I don't think we're going to be too far off with the heaviest weights yeah, really hard to square up the club face and go very right. And again, too light sometimes might go left. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it'd be interesting to see with the ball flight change, launch and spin change, stuff like that, really. Well, let's see what happens. And it might make you just think about, guys, you know, what swing weights might suit you if you're a, a, a drawer or a hooker of the ball or a fader or a slicer. Yeah, I think you can definitely tweak it a little bit, which you've seen, you know, when we've done your shaft fitting video, you know, if anyone's seen that, like I said, it's... Changing a little bit of weight can really make a huge difference you know, in terms of ball flight. Let's so yeah, going. we'll have a look, we'll see what we can do. Uh, I'm gonna keep everything just neutral, loft, uh, PXG 0311, um, 10 and a half degree head. Um, so similar loft to what, um, you know, Gary's been kind of hitting. Um, so yeah, we'll... It's actually we'll the it shaft up. guys as well that I've been fitted for here at Golf Repairs for you. Yes. Um, the shaft that I really do yeah, like. Yeah, so, so there's no kind of excuses with the shaft fits in it. We've put the exact same shaft in that I've just fitted Gary in for. Um, so, yeah, like I said, it's, you know, fair comparison then. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll see. So let me wait this. So just... Look away. <laughs> the only thing I'm upset about is you're going to ru ruin the feel of this shaft. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't want to ruin the, like, the mojo of it. Okay, so you should be able to see that. Yep. Perfect. Right, and obviously the weights, for anyone at home, you, you can't see them on the outside in terms of what we actually weigh, so Gary can't then kind of you know see from me giving him the club yeah so i said we'll do five shots um yeah just see what 
So what you think? I mean, first impressions, yeah. how does it feel? Um, it feels all right. I mean, let me just have a get a bit more idea when I hit it, I think. I'll tell you what, great suggestion from the guys at home as well to do this blind tested. Yeah. Because it, it does make a difference, I think. I'm not going to lie. When yeah, you like were, a, When you were asking me about feel there. Yeah, because you don't know what it is. You I, don't... Think, I think it's going to be difficult as well until I've actually felt the other ones. Yeah. I think when I felt the other ones, I could say that was the heaviest, this was the lightest, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it'd be interesting, like, if you tried to rank them in order from, say, lightest to heaviest. Yeah. That would actually match what I, th I think I is. definitely will be able to tell you that once I've tried all the yeah. shafts. But I think my first... Imp as I hit that ball, and having seen... the, f If you've seen my fitting, guys, it's not very often I hit one right. I can only, so far, assume this could be a heavier one, but I don't know, or a mid one. I don't know if it's light, but I'll only know when I've tried them all. Watch it a bit lightest. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I, it's, it feels a bit all over. Well, like I, said, I think it's a lot of it because it's the uncertainty of what yeah. you don't know what it is. I'm wanting, to, if I felt them all side by side, I think I'd give you more feedback, but blind testing is hard. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a bit different. <laughs> Ooh. Now I'm hitting these and they're sort of going a bit all over. And the, sh the shaft don't feel as nice as what it did when I had it fitted. Yeah. With yeah. all the weights in the head. It just shows you though, doesn't it? When the weights aren't right in the head, your shaft's not going to, you're not going to get the most. No, out like of it. so that's why you've got to really go more in depth. You know, if anyone saw Dan's fitted, you know, if we'd have stayed with a stock weight that came in his ping driver, the string weight would have been way too heavy and you'd have probably ruled out the Hulk shaft that we fitted him into. Yeah. So you, you do need to go in that extra kind of level of depth. I don't, I'm not wanting to sort of waggle it as much as when it was fitted, so. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my mojo with it. That one felt all right. Number four, I think. Is it one more? Please? One more. That was the best one I've hit. When you put the next one in, man, I think I'll be able to provide a bit more, guys. It's just when it's the only one. Can you give me any clues? Is it extreme or any? It doesn't matter now. I can't Let's, say. It's a blind test. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not going to look at any date until right at the end, you know, keep, right. it, keep it fair. Um, I'm just going to weigh the head. Okay. Yep. All right, second lot. Oh. No peeking. The same again, the standard loft. Wait. No, no looking. Can't get any better. Can I look? Ready. Can I look? You can look. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'd put my house on this being heavier. <laughs> I would put my house on it. You know, when I said that other one might have been heavy to me, can I change that? <laughs> this is, I don't know what the other one is, but this is heavier. Uh, but is that is that the heaviest for doing that? So I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Pull you back here. <laughs> if it's not heavy, if the, if there's one heavier than this, I might have to quick test. Wow. So someone could order it in this spec if I wanted, but I don't know why they'd want to. But yeah, you, you could. If you went to PXC, can I order it with 
free whatever Imagine that is. Imagine picking this up online thinking you've got a bargain. <laughs> I see. You'd think it's not genuine ed, really. Cause it's so, this yeah, does feel like a fake heavy. head. Hmm. I felt like you had to give that a bit more, didn't you? <laughs> so, obviously, I have gone a bit heavier in my fitting and toss swing weight wise, but obviously yes. not, not to this extreme. No, definitely not. Like I so said, we've exaggerated it just to see you know, the huge differences you can do. If you're doing minor changes, it's especially, you know, obviously, you're being a, a decent golfer, you, you, yeah. you could kind of adjust to it, but when it's really extreme, Kind of up and down, it's uh, harder to adjust. That's nice. Not all that bad. But it feels, it does feel heavy. Wow. That's <laughs> not a ball flat I've had in me all day, is it? No. Um, I'm not sure how wide that is, but is my club speed slower because I'm it's heavier or most slightly, slightly, and I'm fully warmed up, guys. I've probably hit 200 balls today. Give it a fair few, yeah. Uh, is that number four? I think it's one, one, one more. more. Yeah, I think so. I'm trying my best there to hit it. Hit it straight. <laughs> right. Next one. I'd say, as silly as it is, I'd say that probably, for me, trying to fade the ball was a lot easier than that other shaft. Yeah, I mean, I was surprised you got one left, to be honest. We've had two left, which yeah. was, it, it did surprise me. Yeah. But um, obviously, some weird shots, Yeah. Um, I think, there. So, yeah, let's try the, uh, the third option. Right. I think I think I can certainly tell the difference in swing weight when you start. You know, you get them in your hands. Yeah, like I said, obviously in a realistic kind of environment, you wouldn't go to this extreme. But I'll it's just for a state naughty corner. <laughs> just for a, like I said, for the kind of people at home, just to show the importance of it, really. Yeah. Right, let's give it away. Right, there you go. Ready? Ready. Okay, okay. Ooh, that's interesting. I don't... I now think the first one could be the lightest one. After that. I'm sure this is... Unless my arms are just getting stronger and adapting. Mm. I think, is this... It seems close to the other one, but it seems seems heavy, but I don't think he's as heavy. But my arms could just be adapting. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, like, I've just got used to swinging a, like, what I thought a really heavy shaft. I'm now thinking, yeah. my initial thought is that he's slightly lighter than the other one. Okay. Um, and that would then make me think that the other one, this is mid, the first one was light, and the last one was the stiffest. Uh, sorry, the heaviest. Right, okay. But let me see. Well, I think even after that swing, I want to hit some more balls, but I think if we're going to put them in order, I think you've gone light, heavy, medium, light, heavy, mid. Is, is, is this three options we're doing? This is a f four. Oh, we're doing We've got four. one more after this. Ooh. Yeah. I'll tell you what I would say, guys, is don't mess about with your swing weights too much. <laughs> no. You know like, when like, you're... <laughs> like I said, this is very extreme what we're doing, but it's just to, just to show people at home, really. When you're changing your swing weight like that, you don't know whether you're coming or going. Yeah. It's like... Well, well that's the thing. If you think 
if your driver's like that, yeah. and then your free wood's way lighter, then your yeah. hybrid's heavy again, yeah. you've got no consistency with your timing, with your swing. So yeah. every loads of factors you know, get brought into play, which isn't great. Yeah. So that's why it's always best to get your swing weights you're very close to each other. Sometimes you can go, you know, slightly different depending. Like a lot of times people go heavier in the wedges to feel like it's a bit more like pendulum yeah. underneath the ball. But yeah, generally I'd, I'd never want to fit someone where it's so extreme. Sam, I would say the majority of people don't have a clue what the swing weights are. Yeah, exactly. But <laughs> you, you need a proper scale. You know, it's yeah. not like the, I mean, mine's, they cost around about 200 pound, I think. And, and I'm saying that, I don't know what mine are. Yeah. I, you know, in my bag, you could look through my bag and I bet you that if, if there's any matching, it's by fluke because they've, yeah, exactly. they've not been bought matching. Yeah, exactly. The odds are, if, if there might be something that stands out, which can make sense, like, you know, yeah. say something lighter, you think, oh, that's why I didn't feel great or something. And like I said, if something is all kind of linked together, um, it, it's like I said, it is more of a coincidence than anything. But your iron should always be the same. Uh, when we come from the factory, if they've been custom fitted from like yeah. there, from you have got ping, haven't you? Yeah. So yeah, like so from ping, they should build everything, you know, same swing weight. Yeah. But like so everything else could vary. Well, uh, honestly, whatever's in my bag, it's not being advised. You know, yeah. like the weights have been advised. They're just like I said, it, it's not something you, you you discuss in like a general custom fitting. Yeah. Like, where it's like a bit of a in and out session, you know, just kind of focus on more drive ahead and shaft. Where like I said, we've gone that extra. Mile, really. This certainly does feel heavier than I think a standard club, but, but I don't think it's as heavy as the last one. But okay, that's all I can really say. Oh God, I just can't get used to uh, flipping swing weights like this. Yeah, that's definitely a good thing you did the fitting before this. I know, <laughs> it is. You'd have been really a throw It out. is, and I'm going to be coming back for more fittings, guys, but we're not going to do any more on myself today just because they do take, they take a long time. It takes a long they? time, and like I said, it's fatigue as well. You know, yeah. if you're booking for... I do offer a full bag fitting, but yeah. I'd, you, be, you need to be prepared. It takes a long time. I don't think I'd have enough energy in myself. Yeah, not, not many people do, to be honest, to, to fully commit to it. Don't feel anywhere near oh, as God. nice as the club you've fitted before. I think that was your third. Oh, your fourth. Yeah, you got one more. One more. Yeah. There's just no flow. There's no. Okay. All right, last one. And then the, the, the pain will stop. <laughs> <laughs> I just want my Ventus back. And be, and be stealth edge. God, I would hate to be somebody who's got a driver like that in the bag. I mean, things, unfortunately, I think some people might. You know, I mean, we just don't know. But it's just what they think is what it's meant to feel like. That's an absolute passion killer. <laughs> Go on. Oh, this feels nice. This feels a bit. This is a relief to the arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, could I? I think this is the light one now. Right. It's obviously hard when you're flipping from heavy to light. Yeah, of course. That that's got that is the lightest. It's got to be. I do remember at first one feeling light, but I think this is lighter now. This has got to be the lightest. I'm going to probably end up spinning, it's going to be that light. Oh, God, the difference when you're changing weight is incredible. My arms feel like jelly now. I'm sorry. Because I've gone from heavy. I feel like an absolute guinea pig. <laughs> <laughs> the golf, the golf guinea pig. Oh, God. You 
try and <clears throat> this has to be lighter. Well, we'll explain when you've hit everything, but yeah, I, I can kind of tell, even if it was blind testing opposite for me and I didn't know, I could kind of get an idea of what's, I, I, what's what. I were expecting the ball flights to be far more clear cut. Yeah, I'll, I'll be honest, I thought it would be. But for you guys at home, probably all I can say is that I feel so uncomfortable flipping weights at club. Yeah. That I, I, my swing's just distorted, it's horrible. Mm. Um, I weren't expecting to destruct me as much, you know, like my flow and just, yeah. you just can't keep moving weights. You just no, can't like do so it. it just shows why you need to keep that consistency all through your bag. I'm, I mean, I'm going to end up like one of these tall players that can't take club away. <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm like this. I don't move it. Certainly feels better than them super heavy ones, but. Mm. Oh, that's gone left, I think. The problem is, it's like that I want to hit it hard, but it's it's like that I don't feel I've got any control. Yeah. So it's. Uh, I think that it's counterproductive. It's definitely light because I feel like I can. I'm just. You can give it more. It's like the shaft I've not. It's not like the shaft I've fitted. I mean, it's like I'm getting that confidence of hitting the ball again. Yeah. The other ones, the heavier ones, just I don't know. We're just choking up. So where do you think they ranked? Like, so say from lightest to heaviest. lightest. Yeah. So fourth shaft lightest. Yeah. First shaft mid. Yeah. Uh, third shaft heaviest. And fourth shaft. In between mid and heavy. Good luck. So this this was the lightest. I got that right. Yeah. yeah. The second. Sorry. So let's go back to the beginning. So let's start from the beginning then. I think you got it right. Okay. Right. So the beginning, up. I felt like that was the, the second yeah. in the test. That's correct. Right. Yeah. Um, the the next one I tried you was, the was the heaviest yeah, in that's the test. Correct. Then the third one was like in the middle. Yeah. And then this one was the lightest. Yes, yeah, correct. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, so you've guessed, that's right, I think. It's because yeah. you said middle, but they're in actually middle. So yeah, so I know. I don't know what you mean. Yeah. But yeah, you, you guessed correctly. So that's the date for the first one. So 107, so that's a pretty similar clubhead speed you kind of do, maybe slightly slower. Yeah. That's oh, so a ball speed, 153, in terms of like deviation, you know, 668. But launch and spin was quite realistic, which. Yeah. Makes sense because the swing weight was like a normal swing weight, you know, kind of two seven three total. Um, and then the second one, let's say, which was the heaviest, we actually hit four for we um, five of that. You can see your club head speed really drop. Yeah. So like I said, we dropped about two mile an hour just because of the sheer weight of a club. Yeah. Uh, by doing that, the ball speed also dropped. Your know, spin was just really sporadic. Yeah. You know, from two eight to five thousand, getting launched really inconsistent again distance wise you know very inconsistent you know, two two three to two seven six yeah. in the space of two shots um so like i said yeah so club head speed that's definitely the slowest one 105 the next one was the third heaviest one yeah so, but yeah so 106 has actually got up a fraction yeah um but again it was heavy no one would really play that swing way but definitely mm. closer to being realistic um, launch of spin actually wasn't too bad yeah. um, but again 277 total but again you've seen the club head speed drops that's going to be the most noticeable thing yeah. between changing swing weights when you get something that's too heavy it reduces yeah. the speed you create yeah because even though the total mass might not be really really heavy yeah. it's just the feel in your hands you know can really make a difference that that i guess why then is why seniors and ladies use a lot lighter yeah because it speed. feels yeah it feels easier to use i mean if you look it makes perfect sense you look at the last one so we just change them look at the club head speed now 112 yeah the so ball speed's gone up because the club head speed's gone up and your launch and spin wasn't too bad so again that's probably the second most realistic swing weight but, but it, it, it has gone up, hasn't it, the spin? Yeah, so the spin's gone up. But again, because 
the, the total weight of a club's lighter and it feels yeah. lighter in your hand, you feel like you can hit, hit it harder, which you know, is a perfect example. You know, you, your club head speed went up load. So Do you know what I would say? Uh, having done this experiment, for anybody trying to gain club exp- head speed, yeah. I think there'd be no harm in having a, a swing training seat that's heavy. Yeah, it because can be. After coming off back of that really heavy shaft and going into that, I felt like... Well, perfect example, um, the speed sticks. Yeah. It's the same concept. So you're using something that's really heavy. Yeah. Then you go into something that's light and it just make, tricks you a little bit and you start yeah. swinging quicker. Uh, so it's kind of a similar concept to that. So maybe you senior golfers, if you're reducing in length, could they get like a really heavy driver? Yeah. Practice swinging that and hitting balls. Might not be very nice, but then actually... Then come into something you know, that's their own Come club. into something the right way, and I yeah, think you'll start to have more you know, well, strength. Been, like, so we've seen between going the, the lightest swing weight and total mass to the heaviest, yeah. the seven mile an hour club head speed difference, which is crazy. Yeah. You know, that, that's, if that was then optimised numbers, that could be at least 20 yards. So you could relate that to a, I'm keep using senior as an example because it's an easier example, but a senior yeah. player who might be just using a regular golf shaft and yeah. really needs like a, a senior light flex yeah. could potentially be losing 20 yards. Yeah, potentially. Like I said, if you go lighter plus, say, softer flex, you get yeah. a lot more kick, swing weight can drop. So yeah, you just feel like it's a lot easier to use. Mm. So then, like I said, yeah, you can gain a lot of yardage. And like I said, I think a lot of times with seniors, they don't, they think new clubs won't benefit them. They yeah. think, oh, I'm not good enough to use it. But they're probably the ones that need it more than anyone else. The biggest problem I have with them seniors is that they say, I'm, I'm too old to get any value out of these clubs. Yeah, exactly. Because they think they're going to die. <laughs> Seriously, yeah. in Yorkshire, that's why most people in the 70s won't buy clubs. Uh, but they're the ones that need it the most, but yeah. it's getting people knowing that, basically. You can't, you can't take your money to the grave, can you? No, exactly. You might as well uh, spend it. And again, if it's something you enjoy, you might as well invest in it. If it's going to help your golf and you know make it more enjoyable, 100%. But yeah, it's uh, been a very good test just to see... Yeah, you know, what what can change? Like I said, definitely the heaviest was the worst numbers. Yeah. And like I said, club head speed really dropped. Um, and then like I said, vice versa, you go lighter, you clearly see club head speed go up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's been a, a good good test. I've really not enjoyed it, but I've, I have enjoyed it. If you know what I mean, I think yeah. the blind tests were fantastic because having tried all all of them, I did get a sense of feel of the different weights, but. When you're going from different shaft weights, guys, it distorts your swing. Yeah. I couldn't get a swing going, do you know, like... Yeah, that's why you just need to make sure all your clubs are you know, pretty similar swing I think that's the weights. best conclusion we could get, give from this, yeah. is it just probably demonstrates, guys, if you haven't got matching swing weights or the right swing weights in your clubs, going from one club to another, yeah. it, you know, you can see what it's done. Yeah, like I said, again, you know, we have done this as an exaggerated thing. It's definitely a lot more than it would be normally. Yeah. But... Yeah, like, like I said, it, if even if you did it from say like the E zero to kind of what you've just done like C six, that's more yeah. realistic. But we needed to do it enough where you can see a physical change. But I reckon even if you'd have given me two different clubs to swing with maybe six grams difference, yeah, uh, you know, in all the weights, like so, just one step, I'd have still told you which were light and heavy. Yeah, you can normally tell. Like I said, everyone's going to be different. Some people can really tell the difference. Some people yeah. really struggle. So like I said, if well, because we've done it so exaggerated that anyone would be able to tell the difference, mm. 100%. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video, and I hope that it demonstrates to you a little bit that you know it's really important to actually know what your swing weight your clubs are and make sure that it ties into the, would you say, the ball flight you're trying to create? Yeah, like I said, you know, if, if anyone's seen you know, Gary's fitting, we've seen that you know, by going heavier in the right way with the weight and getting it more in the fade bias, you know, you get the combination of a better swing weight for your swing and then, like I said, creating better numbers as well. So it's all about getting the right distribution of the weight. In. And I think the final thing is feel. You know, yeah, the feel, the way it made me feel at impact and the way that it came off the club face was just entirely different when the weight felt right. Yeah, because like I said, it also, generally, the more mass you add into a head, that can increase the ball speed. So in theory, the heaviest club should have gone further yeah. but because you can't swing it as quick it's gone the shortest it's because we've gone over that threshold yeah exactly I mean, there's the... always a threshold weight generally swing where you want it the heaviest you can where you can still feel like you've got control and yeah. you can still put a good distance of you know of club head speed and to create a good ball speed as well um which i think we we did with yours brilliant i'm uh, i'm over the moon now that i've been fitted correctly for my driver <laughs> And I don't have to worry about having the wrong swing weight. Yeah, yeah, it's been it's been yeah, really good test. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, it was one I wanted to get out there because I thought, you know, after discovering how much swing weight can have an impact, I think yeah. with dead 
you know, important to show you guys, you know, someone like myself who struggled and imagine what it'd be like, you know, if you was more of a newer or a higher handicap golfer. Yeah. It'd be even worse. Yeah, like I said, some people just wouldn't even know what to look for. So, like I said, some people could pick a club up and just think this, well, this is what it's meant to feel yeah. like and not know you can change it. Um, so, yeah, hopefully it's yeah, opened people's eyes a bit more. Guys, if you've got any questions for Sam, he's always in the comments. Um, you know, we'll put your number and your address in the description as well. So, if you're yeah. interested in booking a fitting, uh, you know, obviously make sure you see Sam. Um, absolute best fittings we've ever had. Yeah, thank so, you. So um, I'll be coming back for more fittings. Everything's going to be done in my bag by you. Um, it's just a case of, you know, when we can get down to do the next club. Yeah, yeah. So guys, hope you're enjoying these videos. We'll be back here again soon um, and we'll see you in a few days' time. Bye. Bye.